Canva just released 10 new groundbreaking features that I'm gonna walk you through in this video. Let's do it. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new here, my name's Kerry and I wanna say hey, thank you for watching this video. Let's jump in. Canva just released 10 new amazing features into the Canva software and these are going to be so helpful for online business owners and creative entrepreneurs of all types. Now one thing that really excites me about these 10 new features and really what Canva has been doing as of late is they've been using AI and adding a lot of features and utilizing the power of AI. Now why I think this is really cool is because a lot of the content and things you news articles and things you see around AI, they just sound really scary, right? Like is AI gonna take us over? Is it gonna eliminate all these jobs or whatever the case may be? But what we're going to see, I think, over the next few years is we're going to see how AI can be integrated into things that we're already doing to make us more productive, to get things done quicker. And that's what I'm most excited about. I think that's gonna be the most uh, applicable use of AI. It's gonna be the way that we see it being used the most is, is being integrated into the things we're already doing just to make them easier, quicker, faster, all the things. So that's really what these 10 features that Canva has released is what they're doing is adding some new features that are gonna increase our productivity, our creativity, uh, while using the Canva software and they're awesome. There's a lot of really cool stuff in here. So let's get into the first feature. Now I've got this article opened here from March 23rd, 2023, and this is 10 gifts we unboxed at Canva Create. Now I'm gonna show you the 10 uh, features here. I'm gonna also demonstrate a few of them that I think maybe are more helpful than some of the others, but I think all of these are super cool. So the first gift is Magic Design. It says struggling to visualize your ideal design or find the perfect product template. With Magic Design, you'll now be able to simply upload an image, select a style, and watch it come to life across a curated selection of your very own personalized and fully customizable templates to either download or edit further. So what this is gonna allow you to do is just upload a photo and it's going to match the style of that photo with different fonts and colors and templates. And it's gonna bring your ideas to life based off you just uploading a photo or some kind of inspiration for your next design. So this sounds awesome. Gift number two, draw your ideas. It says, we're excited to release a new way to draw across any type of design. Plus, if you'd like a helping hand, we'll magically recognize what you're creating and smooth out the shapes. So inside your design palette, you're now going to see this draw option, which is kind of like if you have your Apple Pencil out on your iPad and you just want to freely draw, this will allow you to start doing that in Canva on your computer. So it's a way to just kind of get your thoughts out there, kind of just sketch out what you're looking for. And they've also added some of this AI technology to smooth out some of the shapes and some of the things that it will recognize right there on your canvas. Over here on the left side, you'll see this draw option and you see a couple different things here. You've got your eraser, your highlighter, kind of a marker, and then kind of a pen. You've got some different weights and different things here and color. So it's a very simple tool, but I think it's super helpful if you're using Canva all the time and you want a way to just kind of sketch out your designs. One other thing I want to mention before we get to the next feature is if you have a Canva account, you can actually open Canva and go right here where it says open each gift to discover a new feature. And you can see here, you're going to see a lot of these little gift wrapped uh, little boxes and you can click on one of those and it will actually show you the feature and let you try it out. So this is a great way to see all the new features that they've implemented and actually just try them out right there for yourself. By the way, if you haven't signed up for Canva, you're not a Canva user yet, feel free to use our affiliate link down in the description. If you go over to shirtschool.com slash Canva, it'll take you to their plans page. You can either sign up for a free account or you can take a look at their pro version, but I definitely recommend that you go give this software a try. It's an amazing software, especially for apparel and print on demand owners like me and you. So go give it a try at shirtschool.com slash Canva. Gift number three, translate designs in a click. Again, this is a very simple feature, but super cool. And you can see in the demonstration here that once you've created your designs, you've put text, you can actually with just a few clicks ch uh, translate to another uh, language. And you can see right there going from like English to Korean to Portuguese, right? They're just changing that, uh, that font right there. I think this is really cool because, you know, sometimes you might have an inspirational saying or something along those lines and you want to make it a little more creative. So you might want to translate it into another uh, language. And now you can do that with one click. Super cool. Gift number four is probably my favorite, my most, the most exciting feature for me on this list. 
and it is Magic Eraser and Magic Edit. Starting today, photo edits that used to require complicated tools and time-consuming skills can now be done in a, in a snap. It says with Magic Eraser, you can magically remove unwanted distractions in the blink of an eye, just like you see here in this video, and then Magic Edit allows you to swap out or add an element so you can actually delete something in a photo and then add something else. Now, I want you to see the examples here that they give and I'm just gonna explain this a little further. So first with the Magic Eraser, let's say you have a photo, you have a design or something you know that you upload to Canva and you wanna just remove something. This has happened probably a million times for me and I know I'm really bad like in Photoshop trying to remove something. I'm always using the clone stamp and those kind of things. So with this magic eraser, you can see right here, if you wanna just get rid of the bread, you just highlight it, and it's simply going to just remove the bread. Now I'm gonna demonstrate this in a second, but it's kind of mind blowing. Then with magic edit, this one is also super cool. It's kind of next level. So you can see what they're doing here. They're actually removing this little teapot and then typing in what they wanna switch it out with. So in this example, they highlight the teapot, they put in text, uh, that they want to put in, they want it to change to a bunch of purple flowers, and it just pops out purple flowers. Now, this is using their text to image AI software. I still don't think it's super duper good. I think it's still a work in progress, and even in the software, it says beta. But man, this really shows us where we're going with this, where we're going with some of this AI stuff. And I think this is one of the most useful uh, applications of AI, both these things that I've seen. So let's try this out real quick in Canva. So I've uploaded this really stock image of a computer on a desk. So inside of design, I'm gonna click on the edit photo. Now, I think we all know about the background remover that's been around for a while, super helpful, and it's the best background remover I've ever used. But here's the magic eraser. Now check this out. I'm gonna click on magic eraser, and what I wanna do is I just wanna remove this phone. I'm gonna take my brush size down just a little bit, and I'm just gonna highlight this phone on the table. Now, if I just wait just a few seconds, it's gonna process that. Just like that, the phone is gone right there off the table. It's pretty wild. Now, you know, you might be able to see just a little bit there, but you could even maybe think that's just a shadow of something else. Like, this looks pretty incredible. Now, it's not going to be perfect every single time. For instance, I was just trying to remove this plant and couldn't quite get it perfect looking, but I think in most cases, if you have a design that has, you know, very flat colors like this, I think it's gonna work pretty good and this is super useful. Now, you can see on the magic edit option, it is in beta. And again, this is gonna be one of those things Definitely not going to be perfect every time. But let's see if we just wanna take this phone right here. Now we just removed it in the previous example, but if we just take this phone right here and highlight it, and then we hit continue, we can see if it will replace the phone with something else. So I'm gonna put in cup of coffee, and we're gonna see what it does. We're gonna see if it can really even get something that's usable here, if we give it just one second to load up the cup of coffee. So as you can see, didn't do a very good job. <laughs> We've got four examples here. Now it did give us a cup of coffee, I guess using the power of AI, but I think it can't quite see the you know perspective that we're looking at. So this is kind of funny looking. I don't know how useful this is yet, but again, it's cool to see this coming into Canva. Gift number five is Beat Sync uh, that says keeps you right on time says, we love making complex things simple and we know when it comes to captivating videos, music is one of the most complex and important ingredients to get right. It's not only essential to choose a great track for your content, but, but to use it as dynamically as possible. That's where Beat Sync comes in. Just select or upload the music track you wanna use, then with one click, Beat Sync perfectly aligns your footage to the beat of your soundtrack, saving you a ton of time and guaranteeing a dynamic social media ready video in seconds. So it's basically going to sync up your videos and edits to the beat of a song that you upload. I think that's pretty useful. Gift number six, magically generate a presentation. It says skip the blank page by generating a first draft of your next Canva presentation with an outline, slides, and content. Just give Magic Design your idea in a few words and watch it as watch as it instantly and intuitively fills out your story across a professional looking slide deck. So this is almost like taking chat GPT to that next level and you'll see in the next gift, uh, it's also along these lines, but this is really cool. So basically what you can do, put in a few sentences about a presentation that you wanna create, and Canva's gonna spit out a whole presentation with the design and a lot of the bullet points, different things that you might need in that presentation, just gonna create it for you. Now I think with ChatGPT, you're just getting text, right? So that gives you a lot of ideas and everything, 
But with something like this, this is gonna give you a more concrete starting point. If you're struggling to come up with a presentation or you're trying to figure out how to design it or you know whatever, this is going to give you, again, a really solid concrete starting point where you may not have to make as many changes or do as much work to get a finished presentation because this is just kind of taking you three or four steps further into the process than you could get with like ChatGPT. Gift number seven, more magic in Magic Write. Now they had previously released Magic Write uh, in their software, but now they've expanded it to their entire visual work suite. That means on websites, presentations, social media, whiteboards, and more. What Magic Write is, is kind of like ChatGPT. Basically, you can be in a Canva doc, you can be in almost any type of Canva uh, uh, design or, or Canva element. And what you can do is you can just type in text into Magic Write and tell it what you want. And it's going to write those things for you, kind of like ChatGPT does, but having it built into Canva to where you can customize the look and everything right there in Canva. So let's say you wanted to write a product description or write some ads or write some slides as you show here. So you're creating your presentation, you go into Magic Write and you say, I want five bullet points about this subject and it's gonna pop that out for you. So really, really useful tool for SEO, for, I mean, a ton of different things, but this is super useful to have it right here in Canva. Gift number eight is we've evolved text to image. Now, if you're not familiar with text to image, this has also been out a while, and it's their AI text to image software. So you put in what you want, it pops out the image. Now, I've recently kind of reviewed this feature uh, when I've talked about AI in the past, and feel free to watch those, those AI videos on my channel. And you know, Canva's AI wasn't very good yet. It wasn't on point with some of the other AI text to image generation tools, but this is really cool to see that they are evolving it. It says, our community has already imagined more than 60 million images in the past four months, and today we're excited to introduce much higher quality outputs. We've increased the resolution of images by 16 times while reducing generation speed by around 68%. It says, plus you'll also find some exciting new styles from analog film for a retro flashback feel to retro wave to take you into a cyberpunk future. Let's give it a try real quick and see if it's any better. So I'm gonna go over here to text to image in a design. I'm gonna click on retro anime as a style and you can click see all to see all of the styles which are really cool but let's, let's stick with this retro anime and let's just type in a dog riding a motorcycle. And let's see, can it get anything that's really usable or you know, that we could actually work with. Okay, so here's what we got. First of all, it definitely looks really cool and probably better than what we had gotten in the past, but I don't really see a dog here. So <laughs> I like the I like the style and everything, but I'm not seeing where the dog is. Maybe like there's paws or something that I'm missing, but it seems like the dog is completely absent from this photo. Um, so I think the text to image probably still needs some work, but it's cool to see that they're making updates. And I think if you feed it pretty simple stuff, you'll probably get some good results. Gift number nine, create an animation and bring your story to life. It says, today we're thrilled to introduce create an anim animation. Simply draw the path you want your animation to take, speeding it up or slowing it down along the way, and then sit back and watch the magic happen. And it's not just in videos, you can try it out in social media presentations and designs as well. This is really cool. So you basically just take an element, you just kind of draw with your mouse where you want it to go, and it creates the animation. Awesome. And gift number 10 is welcome to Brand Hub. It's their Brand Hub. Now this is gonna be inside of your design. You'll see it over here on the left, this new Brand Hub option. But let's read about what they say. Canva's new Brand Hub brings every ingredient teams need to create on-brand designs inside Canva's editing experience. Your brand templates, brand guidelines, font, graphics, logos, projects, and more will be available in one place so anyone can create on, quickly create on-brand designs. Okay, I love this because basically what this is like is it's kind of like a little Google Drive in your Canva account that's easily accessible whenever you need it. And it's where you can store all of your brand elements. So you've got a logo, you've got certain colors, you've got certain fonts, you know, those kind of things for your brand. And every time you create a design, you're always looking for those elements. Now you can just store those in the brand hub and they're right there anytime you need them. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope this video was super helpful. And if you got any value out of it, would you do me a quick favor and just softly press on the like button? That really helps us get this out to more people across YouTube. And also consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon to make sure you get notified when new videos and podcasts release. See you soon.